Remonstrances. Representative Kinnamer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues. On uh, January 20th, 2017, the Oregon Department of Fil Fish and Wildlife Commission regarding fishing reforms voted four to three against staff recommendations, setting aside 99 years of concurrent management with Washington State under the Columbia River Compact. In doing so, the commission thumbed its nose at hundreds of thousands of concerned environmental advocates and recreational ang anglers troubled by continued gill netting in the Columbia River. Also, the commission ignored the will of the legislature, which passed Senate Bill 830 in 2013 to affirm the state by the bi-state gill net reforms, passing the Senate 18 to 12 and the House 41 to 18. Even said kindly, this is an outrageous and inappropriate action. The way Oregon works is that the legislature st sets the policy. Agencies and their commissions implement those directives. 30 years ago, when I entered the Senate as a freshman, I immediately became involved in this contentious issue. Incidentally, hence the tie. It is a controversy that goes back some 150 plus years. With Senate Bill 830, we created a $9.75 Columbia River endorsement fee on sports anglers to help manage and implement the reforms. This all is in jeopardy, and we 175,000 sports anglers are paying, being betrayed, and taken for a ride. As Mr. Spock said so eloquently, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. And folks, let's get real. Only 209 gill netters compares with 400,000 sports anglers that generated tens of millions in economic value for our state and millions in license revenue for ODF&W. For years, gill nets have been damaging and indeed, in multiple instances, nearly have destroyed our salmon and sturgeon fisheries. Today, I call on the ODFW Commission to reverse its decision or for the four offending members to resign. If, four members, if the four members refuse, I ask ways and means to consider sweeping changes to ODFW's budget and reimbursing our constituents their $9.75 endorsement fee. And I appeal to Governor Brown to insist that the ODFW Commission honor Senate Bill 830 or that she remove and replace the four rogue members. Thank you for your time. 